Hello from Disney's Animal Kingdom. Today, I don't know if you could tell by my little get up, we're on a very special adventure today. We are celebrating our friend Austin's birthday by going on the Wild Africa Trek. Yes, we are getting the backstage tour of the Kilimanjaro Safari at 12.30 today. Lots of fun stuff planned. I should be able to take you guys with me because I have a strap attached to this camera, as well as a strap attached to my phone. So we'll show you absolutely everything. Andre's here, Sierra's here, Austin's here, and we're just ready for a wild time. It's the birthday boy himself. <laughs> Sierra's here, and we're ready to party. We're about to head over and check in. She's still in party mode. <laughs> we're about to go over and check in right around Kilimanjaro Safari and they should allow us to check in and then we use the bathroom and we're gonna figure out about our phone situation, our camera situation, the whole situation. <laughs> so we will keep you updated. Um, if anything's like not allowed to happen, I know nothing about this tour except for like when they told us to I'm scared to do it though. Hot. It's hot. Like it is hot out. It's currently 90 degrees. It says it's going to get up to 91. However, the feels like, let's look at the feels like. Nice breeze right here though in this doorway. There is. The feels like is 99. Yeah, I can feel that. At noon. And Austin got a beer. Do you want to tell the people what you got? Uh, Safari Amber while I dry the sweat off my back. Are you okay? So we're all sweaty. The sweaty sisters. This is Austin's only beer. It is the beer of animal What's kingdom. That? What was it called? Again? Yes. Safari, Safari Amber. Amber. Safari Amber. If you're a beer lover. Ooh. We're harnessed and we're ready. What is that? It's oh. your sunglass holder. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Black. <laughs> okay, so what they gave us, we have a whole harness. Love that. It attaches at the leg and it attaches somewhere in here. They did something. Um, they give us little name tags. Sierra's is really cute. They gave us a water bottle that's attached to us. Get to keep this. I know it says Wild Africa Trek. How freaking cute is that? And then the phones, they actually let us keep our phones and they attached a thingy to our phone and then it's attached to our harness. And they also gave us sunglasses straps, which you saw Sierra have a minor freak out. Andre said his vest made him feel like he's back in Iraq. So that's where we're at. <laughs> I know, my safari hat is behind me, but I have my Canon G7X attached to my own strap. However, they said that they can give like wrist straps for this, but it would be a little hard to have the camera like come out as far as we would want it to. So we're still able to take pictures on our own phones. I'm able to film a vlog for you guys and we're able to literally keep everything. They put everything in a locker, however. I think that Shannon yesterday said if you don't vlog this, you're a fraud. She did. 100% say that. We're vlogging for the memories. For the memories. And for anybody who could potentially be triggered by weighing themselves, I am one of those people. They have the weight for like whenever you step on a scale, they do not show it to you. The only thing that it shows to them is a color so that it knows what best to get for you. So whenever you see on the email that they are going to weigh you, you do not see anything and they literally say nothing about it. Whenever you step on the scale, they just know exactly what best to grab you. So if you're triggered by that, just know they made it a very comfortable experience. We've just gone off the trail, so we currently have our tour guide in our ear, and we're now off-roading. Thank you. Can you put there for me? Whoa, whoa. We're actually going into the hippo exhibit right now. Oh God, this is wild. What a wild time. Oh, it's Frank. <gasps> no way, oh my God. They said that this one's name is Hans.
This is crazy. <laughs> Smacks on the forehead. Wow. Just me and me and my pal. <laughs> this is crazy. And you can see Kilimanjaro Safari goes around right there from the hippo exhibit. This is wild. It's a wild Africa trek. Like going up the stairs to actually head to the crocodile exhibit. I guess we're going to be over top of it, but they just double checked our gear. <gasps> we gotta go across. Oh, she said to hang on the bottom of the stairs. and I got a little bit of sea legs went to the little like standing area because there were two bridges and I like stood there and I was like whoa so if you have motion sickness I mean just saying but we're at a point now they just gave us cooling towels and these feel amazing what do you think of the bridge the bridge of Terabithia it was dope <laughs> the first bridge was significantly harder than the second one. It was super cool, super fun. The first one I had a hippo swim under me, and the second one there's tons of crocodiles, which it was so cool. I love adventure. <laughs> I believe the bridge bridged the gap between educational and fun. Um, and I had a great time. <laughs> I'm dead. Butterfly in. <laughs> Don't necessarily go hunting instead for ambush targets, which means they lay and wait for the food to come to them. So, if you see them moving around, that's more often than not trying to get either penguins or warm. Swimming so fast. I know. They're trying to either warm if they're going into the water. Oh my god. We're watching a fight happen. So, crocodiles, they do have a hierarchy set. So, that's maybe what we're doing right now. They will kind of compete. Like they were just telling us in the crocodile exhibit that they only feed those animals do, once uh, a do week. Do crocodiles death roll like alligators do? Yes, they can. Yep, yep. They're gonna drag them down to deeper water too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, if you've ever seen a flock of starlings, for example, flying through the air, they kind of move in that same kind of one kind of grouping. So if they send something off of the side and they veer to avoid it to the left, the entire herd's gonna avoid it to the left too. We got some you guys want you are welcome to stand. We are all clear. Just kind of keep your voices down for us. We don't want to spook them. They stopped us over by the giraffes. Now, We've been over here for, I kid you not, five minutes. <laughs> she's uh, she's still quite young. She's only about four and a half. Right. And uh, getting along great with all the girls here. Um, I think he's in the barn today because I don't see him in this small grouping. <laughs> So now all the kiddos might follow suit too. <laughs> Go ahead, Mabel. It's <laughs> funny. Cool. We made it to the outlook over the savanna. So we're able to see all of the animals on our tour. And this is the very last point of it. So we just got a table and we are going to have food, drinks. We also have bathrooms here, but this is so cool. I've always like seen people stand out here. And the fact that we're able to be here now is crazy. So sat down at our little Boma area and we got these like tin things and you can tell them they're <laughs> The water bottles are not great. Um, oh my god. <laughs> but my um, tin, I requested for no gluten.
know that can get kind of stuck. A shrimp? And a vegetable salad in there. It's got like some sweet gherkins, some roasted red peppers, all really, really good stuff. Um, we also have some prosciutto and mozzarella curls in I love mozzarella. tin there. And lastly, in that top tin, we also have <laughs> uh, roasted uh, rotisserie chicken um, that has a mint and ginger glaze mm. on top. So feel free to stir that around really well. This is just so cool. As we've been eating, we've just been watching like elephants come by, the little baby ones ducks flying out, by, yeah. flamingos. Whoa! Whoa! Where are the dingoes? Wait, what were you looking at? Uh, there's some giraffes in the trees over there, and then there's one laying down over there. Oh my god. You want to hold on to it? That's your decision. Whoa, it's a little blurry. That tour was amazing. Literally, it was amazing. I can see why all of the hype is there around me. The ambiance of animals. safari by the end of it and it was essentially like the wild africa track on crack like it was amazing it was around three hours and i will have the information to it down below but that was so much fun i'm so happy we did that for austin's birthday and it was something that we all wanted to be doing for a really long time so learned so much about the animals really bonded with our tour guides and it was just super fun. Highly recommend it. Can totally see the hype. So much like cool stuff from it. I like, wow. I don't even feel like we're in Animal Kingdom right now because that tour just truly set it apart. But now we're on our way to see Festival of the Lion King because it's back to how it was pre-COVID. So we're gonna see if we can get into the four o'clock show with it being 3.45. We'll see. This time, we welcome you, Kenny Luke! Yeah. Welcome, we are a band of singers who travel with Simba and his friends. Maestro, if you please. Hakuna Matana. A record breaking two million years at the bottom of the evolutionary ladder. Let's hear it for the Tumble Monkey. Festival of the Lion King. It is corn o'clock. I got a corn. Sierra got a corn. Austin got a corn. I freaking love this corn. <laughs> this is so good. It's like curry, salt, garlic. Nothing beats it. I can't confirm. I asked for extra seasoning. If you know, you know the corn. Extra seasoning. Oh my god. This is so good. Ice cream time. The ice cream in Asia, the soft serve stand, the best soft serve on property. Can confirm. I said the vanilla. The greatest on the planet. We ended up in Nomad Lounge. I've never been in here and it is absolutely stunning in here. No idea what I'm gonna order. Um, 
Sierra loves this watermelon margarita here. I've seen it on her, her Instagram. And then we'll see what the table gets. Actually, I might see if they have any mocktails for all of my mocktail girlies out there. My mocktail came. This is called the Happy Macaque. And it is guava puree, coffee simple syrup, and lime juice with a hint of cilantro. Um, I don't know if this is actually going to taste good, but the guy said it's been on the menu for six years. So we'll see. Well, glass right now is everything that I needed. What is this one? This is the watermelon margarita. His. Yeah, his yeah, is is better oh, yeah, yours looks really good. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah, it was cool, huh? Lucky yeah. <laughs> Sweet drink. <laughs> it tastes like a dog. The stuff to do in Orlando <laughs> hand. Love their drink. They said it tastes like a watermelon. You thought jolly that we're live. Now for the happy macaki. Mmm. Soak the water down. Pretty good. This is so weird good. and it's good. <laughs> I love that. I love that. The coffee simple like syrup in it, you can't even taste <laughs> it. It literally does not taste like He's coffee. Like, it tastes like some new guava. I love that. Yeah, any straws right I do. Thank you. Wow. I hate, they just said a menu change is coming, so we're gonna try it a few of the food items and like figure it out. Now I cannot believe the Happy Macaki is so good. We keep talking about these glasses because they have the coolest freaking glasses here. This makes me want to buy new stuff for our house. Because wow. So the first thing out is the bread service from Nomad Lounge. Just have like three different things. That's like some kind of apple chutney. It's spicy. Something. Something in there. Those little uh, spoons are really cute. In there though. <laughs> That's gonna be a sweet potato something or other. Or hummus. Or oh, it's a hummus, it's hummus, yeah. No, boo. There's a, <laughs> this looks like the, the jalapeno you. ranch from Chewy's. Everybody sure. ready? <laughs> nope. Like I never we got Chewy's. red pepper hummus, yeah. spicy coronado yogurt, okay. and ginger, ginger pear chutney. I told you it was a chutney. And then this kind of frosted. Oh. <laughs> Party foul, dude. Only for the party. <laughs> okay, we have the sliders here. I got the beef sliders, and it has like a like a something there. Um, it literally looks like a little I don't know, like a slaw. And then it also came with yuca fries and some ketchup. And then there's some pork belly over here. Is that an egg? Yes, egg white. Vegetable thoughts. Bro. Bro. You need to try it. Get in there. Uh, get in there. Get in there. Get in there. <laughs> we finished at Nomad Lounge, and that place is amazing. Hands down, one of the new spots to stop at. Like, that place is a hidden treasure, honestly. And we ended up in Pandora. Austin wanted to go to Pandora, so we have a lightning lane for all four of us for Flight of Passage at 6.45. And you know what's really funny? On the other side of the camera, I have Sierra right here, and then I have Andre right here just like watching me do this. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's where we're at today. And I didn't even think about it. I was just staring. I don't know, I wasn't thinking. Currently 7.19, our lightning lane started at 6.45. We wanted to finish up at Nomad. And I can smell it, like. Whoa, that one tastes different strong. than the last one. So the roadies are stronger at Nomad Lounge. You heard it here first. Using avatars to fly this way was all figured out by my boss, Dr. Jackie Ogden. I'm Dr. Jackie Ogden from the Pandora Conservation Initiative. You're about to experience a ceremony that's very special to the Navi, flying on the back of an Ikron. The sunset right now as we leave. Look at that. Wow. Look at this. It's insanity. It looks so good. I love the rain. Well, what an incredible day in Animal Kingdom. We're already back in the car because we were all just like talking right here at the end of the night. But today was literally one of the best days I've had in the parks in a long time. Yeah. In a long time. Absolutely. And the Wild Africa track. 10 out of 10. Holy crap. I would recommend that to anyone. Our tour guides were amazing amazing they knew all of our names and then by the end of it we we all just kind of stood around talking to them found out that they did their college program one of the girls her um three-year anniversary of living in florida is on tuesday of this week oh yeah she grew up in singapore and she was telling us about like the lifestyle yeah and just how you could be punished for just like littering like 
it was it was really really cool and that tour was just three hours of jam-packed action 10 out of 10 it was awesome if you are seriously thinking about celebrating anybody in your life the wild africa track you, oh my god i think when you when you think of animal kingdom and if you are a fan of animal kingdom the wild africa track is the perfect tour it i gives completely you the agree full experience of immersive experience with animals it gives you a more in-depth tour on safari so if you like the safari ride the wild africa track would be like times 10 and all the giraffes were out yeah the giraffes were out the hippos were out we didn't really see too many elephants however yeah, they were letting us know that it is common not to see the elephants around the hour that we were doing it i cried on flight of passage because i realized in the ride this is my last thought i'm going to end you guys with i cried on flight of passage i don't even think i told you this i just heard you say to sierra to the group oh i cried on flight of passage because I used to listen to the Pandora, like ambient music back when I lived in Jacksonville. And I used to just think to myself, what would life be like if I lived in Orlando? Or if I was just able to go to Disney more often, what would it be like? And I used to just listen to that and literally think to myself, like I'm gonna live in Orlando one day. And like, that is going to be my life. That is what makes me happiest. And I don't know what it is about Flight of Passage that always brings that out of me that I just like start crying when I'm on that ride because I think about how badly I wanted to live here and how badly I wanted to live this life and this lifestyle that would just make me happier. And I cried on the ride because I was like, I'm actually living that lifestyle now. I'm actually like here, took the dive and like just thinking about like 25 year old me 21 year old me that was just so unhappy wishing that she was living in Orlando wishing that she was living closer to Disney could look back at me now like I would just be fine and I would just think like oh yeah when I get to 27 I'll get there but I started crying because of that and it was just a great way to end the night now we're going through McDonald's because I don't know are you getting food or Sprite and chicken nuggets Sprite a lovely little spicy Sprite but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. I really enjoyed spending time with you guys and capturing some memories on camera. Um, I know I haven't featured, featured, ew. I haven't had Austin on the vlog recently or literally at all. Austin is Sierra's husband and um, we literally hang out with him all the time. So I'm really happy that you guys were able to like see Austin, Sierra, and Dre together. And um, and yeah, I just hope you guys have an awesome rest of your night or day whenever you're watching this. And I'll see y'all in the next one. I can't even talk. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Love y'all.